today, Young Ash and I, we're gonna play some Illusion Connect, but she's probably gonna run away. Let's go, Young Ash. Oh, ah. Okay, maybe she won't run away. Oh, well, never mind. There she goes. I'm on, I'm on US Server 7. This is a brand new account just so I can show you guys what's the best way to progress in the early game. That's going to include re-rolling and what we should re-roll for and also a bunch of codes. So in the description below, there's a bunch of codes that will help you get resources in the early game to help you re-roll as well. So tutorial is actually very, very quick. Tutorial, it will take you about five minutes tops for every time you want to re-roll. And if you don't get the reroll, what you can do is you can basically delete your guest account. And when you finally have a account that you want and progress with, you can bind it with an email, your Facebook, your Gmail, whatever it is. And the only thing about tutorial is you have to like go through all the actions instead of like, you can't really skip anything. So that's the part where it's a little bit slow, but how the game works, it's a three by three board and then you put units on the board to take out the leaders on each side. So if your leader gets taken down first, you lose. Um, you want to take out their leader first. Um, they got great voice acting here. Alright, Saya. So she, so Saya has the voice actress that is one of my favorite in anime, Sari Hayami. That's why she got started in this game for those who don't know. So um, like I was saying here, you have to kind of follow everything so doing this it's a little bit pain you might want to skip this because you're you're gonna do this a lot um, what i will suggest you do is you open multi, blue stacks multi instance because i'm playing on a emulator right now so what you can do is you can have multiple clients open it at once multiple guest accounts and pick whatever server you want um, obviously if you pick a newer server probably less people but people the count age is not as old so you're more competitive you pick us1 it's been about one month now since this video and you're gonna be behind so you'll be competitive but there's no real pvp aspect to this game right now so it's not really a big deal that you are behind unless you're really, really competitive and you want to be in a good guild top guild blah 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 then then it makes a difference however what i do suggest again open multiple blue stack multi instances make them like sixed in one screen and then do tutorials like all at once so you're gonna be like focused and you're gonna be doing six four whatever accounts at one time to have maximum rerolls but it's gonna be a bit of a challenge because that's a lot of multitasking even i wouldn't do this um i'm not super hardcore in terms of rerolling um speaking of rerolling you're guaranteed a nat 5 in your first 10 summons because the game gives you that. So in your first 10 summons, you want to fish for a Miyuki. I'll show you who Miyuki is, but basically she is the most busted early game unit because she controls the rage bar, aka the special attack that you get. You see this orange bar? Miyuki controls that. So having Miyuki early game is so incredible, but also how this game works is you need dupes. So you start at a, at a SSR unit at three stars. Maximum star is six. So to get to four star, you need 60 shards, aka one dupe. For five stars, you need one additional dupe. For six star, you need two dupes. So you need four copies. And that's and then there's also a concept called awakening, which means you need even more copies to awaken a monster or a unit. And not every unit has an awakening yet. So Miyuki does have one in the other versions. So Miyuki early game starting and fishing for it is actually really, really important here. Okay, so we're almost finished tutorial here. It's been about three minutes, I guess, in tutorial, four minutes maybe. So it's not too incredibly long. And then when you add all the summons from the codes, it's actually probably like 20, 30, in one go if you apply all the codes so we're gonna do skip here and then so saya victoria and Na nana they they are units are sr but they can grow and evolve into ssr aka the highest amount they're like the only ones that can do that no i really don't want to link my account okay boom next and then after this we're almost done we go to our base our i can't even pronounce it muscapula Miss Capula. So this is our home where you have your resources, where you generate gold, where you put your um, furniture on the floor and everything like that. And it's burning right now. Our home is burned. We're refurnishing it. 
And here we are. Skip, 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 blah, 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 blah. Okay, build their base. This is where we build the gold item, for example. Boom. Get me out of here. My man wants to summon, boys. All right, skip. So we go to the mailbox. We fast. God damn it, we have fast claim. Okay, we're gonna go back. Fast. Oh my god. This is what I mean. You can't skip steps, okay? So this is the part where you're guaranteed a five star, an SSR unit. I'm sorry, I keep saying five star because I play Summoner's War and that's what they, we call it here. So you're guaranteed an SSR unit in your first 10 summons. This is a one time thing. And this is where you want to pull your Miyuki. Miyuki is so good and. Eh, no, no. Otaru. Okay, I have a. I have a. I have a th I have a theory where it's actually scripted to have like hey you hear that as young yeah she's meowing all right so we didn't get it however this is not where we want to re-roll just yet don't re-roll right now because we still have our inbox here our mail god damn it I hate how they can't make you skip any steps okay first nat 5 SSR unit it's Otaru nothing game changing also got a nat 4 there an SSR unit so what we want to do now is go to mailbox look at this we got free rewards here. 10 additional summons. So boom, 10 additional summons. And then this is where you want to use, no, I don't wanna go there. I'm gonna my summons. All right, here you will see the Miyuki banner. So how this banner works is between these two units, if, correct me if I'm wrong here, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. There's a 50% chance to pull one or two, all right? And then the other 50% is any monster in the pool. You can read it here. Two characters take off 50% chance of the drawing SSR cards, all right? So it's, it says it's a 2% chance to pull it, but honestly, I really don't think so. From my experience, in around 30, 40 summons, you're almost getting guaranteed an SSR unit. Just from my experience there, okay? But do we get a SSR unit? No, nope. SR. So double SR, but no SSR. So at this point, you can decide to re-roll and delete your guest account, or you start inputting codes. So if you got something good at this point and you don't want to re-roll, what you should be doing is you go to redeem and then you put in a code. I have a link in the description with all the codes here and the codes, they give you summons, right? Not all codes will give you like eight tickets, but in the link, you can see what the rewards are. So if you guys are really, really try hard and you really want like two SSR, three SSR units, make sure you have Miyuki plus one or plus two or just Miyuki by herself. So if you guys aren't familiar, this is Miyuki. If I can find her right here, Miyuki. So the reason why Miyuki is so important for you to get is because on day Sorry, day, um, well, you can read your skills here if you want, but on day, I believe six or eight, I think it's day eight. On day eight of law, actually, we can check right here. What am I even saying? Go to perks and go day eight. So, in on day eight, you're guaranteed a Miyuki, but keep in mind, you have to log in right here. You cannot miss a day. So you log in eight days straight, you get a Miyuki, you get it from three star to four star, and then after this event, there's another event, another eight day event, and you can select between four units and in those four units, Miyuki is included. So by 16 days, you should have five star Miyuki. That is why you must re-roll for a Miyuki on your first 20, 30 summons. And right here, I got how many more summons right here. At this point, it's a very bad idea for me to keep going because I have no Miyuki. I have no SSR unit that's good. Kiraya? She is part of the banner, right? She is part of the banner, but she's not what I want. So if you got nothing like me, what you want to do is click on your account, other settings, and then delete account, right? And then you press OK and you delete it. And then you repeat the cycle until you pull Miyuki and then any SSR unit if you really want. For me personally, all I did was I just pulled Miyuki and I started playing because I love the concept and I just want to get right into it. So I'm back on my main account here and I want to show you like Miyuki right here because I have her unlocked and you can kind of see the details right here as well. So again, you want to pull for Miyuki. The plus one that you want to pull for is actually like the best plus one in my opinion is Yuffie. So Yuffie has some crazy AOE. She's, I have a skin for her, so this is not her default look. But I mean, she looks pretty dang good if you ask me her default skin. But other than that, she's actually pretty busted. Her skills is an AOE, also damage increase, pretty busted. Also, it's very important for a um, sorcerer team, like a team comp for mages. 
and then we also have maki maki is very good as well she has an awakening which means you need multiple copies and she gets more stats and boom it's kind of like a super evolution i guess so in terms of the other ssr units um you can't pull kasumi um honestly i like nicola i think for some reason the game really loves giving you this i think it's scripted this way so if you get nicola plus miyuki it's not actually too bad because um there's a tier list in the description as well nicola is ranked very high because of her kid but also if she has max stars she works very well in a sort of comp so i'm not going to go into too much about the plus one or plus two but if you really really want to try hard like the perfect star in my opinion is going to be like miyuki plus yufi or like maki that's probably the best star in my opinion maki i'm oh sorry yufi miyuki double aoe is gonna help you clear the scenario super super easy Anyways, guys, that's the best start for Luge Connect. Hope you guys will check out the game. If not, share it with a friend. Leave a like, comment, subscribe to help the YouTube algorithm recommend this video. So hopefully they can start making more Luge Connect videos because I really do enjoy this game.